we finished building our first freedom home in Dubai. This is how it looks today. This is how it looked when we first took possession. I'm going to give you a walkthrough showing the before and after in this video. Come into our home. Here it is. Again, when we first got it, I'll pause so you can see the view. Here it is how it looks right now. You can see the big differences. Here there was of a small little uh, two pane ent exit to the backyard. Now we have three. We removed all these columns. We made it into a grand entrance. Let's continue walking. We made it into a grand entrance so you can see the clear difference. This is the same villa, guys. We didn't destroy it. We simply knocked down everything until we got to the shell and core, the foundations, and then rearranged everything and rebuilt it with new furniture, or not furniture, <laughs> new finishings, new tiles, new air cons, new electrical, new everything to get to this product. All right, let's continue the tour. So again, you can see that these walls are gone. This used to be three separate rooms. See, this was the first room. There were no uh, entrances to the other rooms. And if I skip ahead to uh, back to the hallway, this is how you got to the other rooms. Now you simply walk through any of these openings and it's one big open floor plan for the living room, dining room. There's the dining room. This is the dining room before. This little room right here was all that they gave you for dining. And then this is the kitchen in the after. And if you look at the before, let's skip ahead to the kitchen. Yeah, this is the kitchen before, right here. So they had this uh, blocking uh, half wall. Let me go back to where we, okay, so this is our new kitchen. So we removed the half wall and we added a center aisle. The kitchen had no center aisle before. Again, this was the day we took possession. Nothing was done, but it looks like a mess because when the previous owners moved out, this is how they left it. This was the status uh, state of the villa uh, when, when we took possession. Okay, uh, let's continue the comparison. So here are the stairs. The stairs to the upstairs. Uh, oh, by the way, in, in our kitchen, we have a secret door. Look, this takes you to the dirty kitchen. The dirty kitchen is where you create all of the messy cooking, the greasy, the smelly, the noisy. This is where you'll make all that separate from the living space. And then you bring it out into the show kitchen when it's all done and presentable and uh, everyone can enjoy it. Okay, let's head to the stairs. So in the stair, oh, first we're going to the back. We added a pool. This is a sunken seating area. This didn't exist in the previous one. We're gonna put glass right here. That will be a big glass wall so you can see into the pool. When you're seated in the sunken area and it's night and that glass shows all the reflections of the lighting that'll be in the pool, it'll look amazing. I'll show it to you in the future, but for now it's still under construction. We have about three more weeks of construction to finish this pool and backyard. Oh, and by the way, the view, this is the view. Now the view hasn't changed, it's the same view but it's an amazing view of the lake with the fountain. And this is, as you can tell, evening time, and it's uh, got the awesome reflections. Now this is all man-made. This is not a natural lake. So this is the end, the back of the house. This is how it looks today. It's been squared off and there's a gym, another new addition that wasn't there before. This room right here that I am walking towards is an extension that we made that will be a home gym separate from the living space so that uh, you know the smelliness of the sweat and the noise of the gym uh, is separate from the living space. Okay, let me uh, get to the stairs. This is how the stairs looked before, no lighting, very plain. This is the new stairs with the beautiful marble and look at this very plain wall. This is typical of homes in Dubai compared to our new amazing shiny wall with a skylight. If you look up, we added a, a natural, a source of natural light where it didn't exist before. Okay, and before they had this like one little window in the, in the end, uh, in, in the wall. Okay, so here we are now up the stairs. 
and I'm gonna go into the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom before. This is the master bedroom after. Again, no comparison. We have beautiful lighting, cove lighting in the ceiling. We have a much larger uh, opening for natural light. Look at those little small windows that were there before. Again, before, after. Let's back up just a uh, few seconds. You can see the whole, yeah, like this is an, a, a huge improvement. In fact, we made it into a sun deck so you could go outside to uh, actually see the beautiful view of the lake. Okay, and then get this guys, the woman cave. You all know the man cave, right? That's where you go to watch your shows when you wanna take a break from family. Here's the woman cave. Look at this walk-in closet. Look at this uh, area for where the magic happens for the ladies. A nice curved mirror, massive mirror, where you can put on your makeup. Now, let's look at the before, uh, where we had, uh, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Yes. So this is the before. The walk-in closet was basically nothing. It was like four wardrobes and then the bathroom. That's it. Now it's, again, we're gonna walk into the same area. Uh, let's get away from this ugly bathroom. So again, this was the walk-in closet before, right here, walk-in wardrobe. Now the walk-in wardrobe looks like this. Plus, you have the area where the bathroom used to be as the makeup counter. And then the bathroom is now here. With beautiful marble, massive window, lot, dual sinks, lots of natural light, a bathtub, and two skylights in the bathroom in addition to the big natural light window there's the bathtub and the massive shower right there in the corner pretty good improvement wouldn't you say compared to this bathroom like literally it makes me cringe the bathroom didn't even have a ceiling the previous owners decided hey let's make the bathroom bigger by removing the ceiling so you could see all the air conditioning and piping is that a good strategy, guys? I don't think so. Anyway, this is the one of the bedrooms, and in the after, <clears throat> all of our bedrooms, let me skip ahead. This is that same bedroom here with the night view. Oh wait, no, that's not the same bedroom, but all the bedrooms are about the same. So uh, they have a beautiful skyline view that of course hasn't changed. Uh, and all the bathrooms have been fully rebuilt into this nice design that you can see. Let me just keep skipping ahead here to we have, ah, this is the balcony. So you can see, this is also a new addition, uh, a terrace. There was no terrace before. And yeah, like, you know, you can see what the standard style is uh, with the normal bathrooms and uh, compared to what we were able to achieve back to one of the bathrooms here. Right, so something like this, uh, which is, you know, same size, just look at the marble, look at the uh, modern design with the, with the vanity here where the sink is, having the open space beneath it, uh, where typically the vanity is just this solid block with maybe some uh, doors to to open the shelves underneath. And again, there was no, <laughs> no ceiling. Okay, I hope this helps guys show you what we can achieve with our homes. We will be building many more homes in Dubai. And if you're interested in uh, coming to Dubai, I encourage you to book an appointment to visit a freedom home. This is now a six bedroom villa. Before, it was a five-bedroom villa. We also added a movie room. There was no movie room before. We also added a dirty kitchen. There was no dirty kitchen before. We also added a gym. No gym before. And we added a driver's room outside the villa as a separate standalone room that could be used as a guest room uh, or uh, anything you really want, a games room for the kids, again, away from the main house. 
So, summary. One more bedroom. Gym. Uh, dirty kitchen. Uh, driver's room. Movie room. And I think that's it. Uh, yes, that sounds like it's... It. Oh, and the pool. We added a pool uh, with a pump room and all the water and electrical needed for the pool. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Now, if you want to see my original video, I, I made one on the Freedom Channel called uh, Freedom Homes. I'll show it to you here. Freedom Homes. So you can see the initial concept of, of freedom in building homes like this. These are 3D renders. We actually came very close to the final product. So this had the uh, 3D render with the sunken seating area. And you can see how it looks uh, in, in the final product. Let's go back to the place where we had the outdoor view, which is right here. So you can compare the 3D rendering with the uh, final. Now, of course, it's not identical. The balcony is on the other side, but you can see the same uh, style with the uh, squared off villa, the beautiful modern style. Uh, we added the nice lighting that makes it look a bit like an hourglass. We can adjust the angle to make it like a torch if we wish to be vertical and uh, instead of angled, or we can change it to any angle we like. That'll be a preference that the buyer can, can choose. And yeah. What do you guys think? <clears throat> I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on the quality of what we've built and whether this is something interesting uh, for you. <clears throat> guys, I still have a cold. I'm sorry. My voice isn't what it should be. I was debating on not making this video, but sleep is for the week and sickness is for the week. Even if you're sick, you have to move on. Uh, you know, tr troop on, right, guys? Actually, I went jogging today, even though I'm still not fully recovered. I'm close to recovered, but I went for my three kilometer run in the nice Dubai sunshine, uh, one lap around the golden mile, and I feel great. <laughs> okay, I don't feel great, great, but I feel better than uh, if I didn't. It's more because I miss running. I really did. I, I was, I've been sick for like a week, uh, and I, I haven't done any exercise for seven days. I, I missed it. That's a good test to see for you if you're if you are exercising regularly and something happens like you get sick or just truly busy and you can't not just lazy there's a difference between busy and lazy guys and then you how much do you push yourself to uh, how much do you miss so you don't even have to push yourself I mean to say to do the exercise in this case I am happy to say I really do I've gotten into that habit where I miss the activity of exercise you know, like brushing your teeth. If you don't brush your teeth, you know you missed it It's because it's a habit. So if you exercise regularly, your routine will also get into a habit and you'll miss it. And this is the test. And I'm happy I passed. And I hope you too are getting your exercise regularly. If not, why not? Let me, uh, still recovering from a cold, sick George, who did his three kilometer run uh, and is happy he did. You should use that to be your motivation to get some exercise. All right, Freedom Family, Freedom Homes in Dubai. And of course we have Heartbeat, which I use to create these moments. And Heartbeat, you can see at h.ki. So if you type h.ki in your web browser, you'll see our Heartbeat product. And of course, you should check it out and try out everything here, including photos, which is our great clickless gallery uh, for sharing your memories with everyone. And uh, even a little small window, you can see the utility of it. You just hover over thumbnails and they appear with no clicking. If you want to zoom in, just use the mouse wheel and then you can zoom in or with these little plus minuses. For some reason the mouse wheel isn't working for me. Hmm. Check that out. Maybe it's a bug in this resolution. Anyway, you can just use this. Uh, oh, am I not in click mode? Huh. Anyway. Small technical issues. All right. And then we also have other products like our Viki. And the Viki is our video wiki. And here you can combine uh, moments with photos and uh, create articles monetize with 
ads. Now, monetization is still being built in Heartbeat Studio. That will be coming soon. Look for it this month in December. Or sorry, next month. It's November now. Next month in December, uh, where you'll be able to monetize your own content of everything you post on Heartbeat. All right. H.ki is where you should start your journey. And then you should also install the Chrome extension. It's here in the menu, Moments Extension. This is what will let you press the H key to... Oh, why is this so small? Uh, George, I have a big screen. Where you can press the H key now with over 200 users, where you can press the H key to uh, create your moments while watching any video on YouTube. That's the power of Heartbeat uh, Chrome extension. And then once you have all your heartbeats, you'll have this little My Heartbeat. Oh, and I've not signed in. So if I search for George, you'll see My Heartbeat right here with 29 followers. And you can, of course, see I've used my own product to create moments for my own. Oh, I'm not following myself. Let's go. Oh, I'm not signed in. So before you can follow, that's right, you have to uh, sign in and you just use your Google account. You don't have to create a new email address password. And you can see all of my favorite moments here uh, that I created while watching videos on YouTube. And I hope you'll build your own library of moments to, uh, to, so you don't forget them, so you can share them, so you can come back to them. If we have one super fan, and we've mentioned him in previous videos, Stunt Chicken. And Stunt Chicken has 560 moments. And you can see them all here. He's got more moments than me. How many moments do I have? I have 503. I'm catching up, Stunt Chicken. But of course, I'm very uh, particular about what I create moments of because I'm not just spamming myself just to get my number up. That would be pointless. I am only making moments of things that I truly find meaningful and memorable, which I encourage you to do the same. Install the moments extension and start pressing the H key while watching any video on YouTube to start building your moments library. Then you'll make money when we launch Heartbeat Studio. We're going to add monetization and all the moments you've created will now be eligible to make you money. So you can get paid for doing what you love, not just moments, also photos, and then writing. All of that will be monetizable on Heartbeat and you'll be able to even make money as a contributor, which means if you go and fix people's spelling mistakes or improve people's articles by adding moments and photos, you will get paid as a contributor, a profit share of all the revenue generated by that monetized work. That is the power of Heartbeat, which no other platform does. Pay the contributor from the platform share. We take nothing from the creator. You might think, well, the creator probably won't want any edits because he thinks I'll make less money if I accept other people's edits. Wrong! The creator makes exactly the same 55% profit share, as on YouTube, of all the revenue generated for his work. If an editor comes and improves the work, we pay him from a portion of our 45% platform fee. Does YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, does YouTube share its 45% platform fee with anybody? No. Does Heartbeat? Yes. That's the main difference. We will encourage everyone to contribute and improve everybody else's work without taking anything away from those authors by sharing our cut. So we make less money. Okay, we don't mind because it's good for the community. It's good for everybody as uh, an editor, a writer, a video maker, a curator of moments, a photographer. Everybody makes money barely from this model. And if we have to take our take money away from our cut so be it i'm a creator guys i founded heartbeat i'm building heartbeat with an amazing team for you but i'm treating it like a creator i'm imagining if i was a creator what would i want this this heartbeat is what i would want and the business side is secondary that's a side effect of the project we're here to build the world's best creator platform, not just for video, single format, but for video, moments, uh, photos, writing, and music as well. 
Now, we're not competing with YouTube, guys. You're not going to upload your videos to Heartbeat. We're going to embed videos from YouTube, stream them, or uh, play them on Heartbeat, or stream live streams. That's fine, because we'll embed them as well. Why do we do that? Well, because we don't want to pay for the bandwidth cost. We don't want to be a competitor to YouTube. No one wins against YouTube. YouTube's the king of video. Nothing's going to change that. We thought Facebook might give them a run for their money, but they failed miserably as a video platform. No one uses them anymore for video, as far as I know. It's all YouTube. So why try to, if Facebook can't uh, compete with YouTube, of course we can. And we don't actually want to because we want to focus on the things that YouTube doesn't do well. YouTube plays videos beautifully. You can't do better than that. <clears throat> However, YouTube does not support writing. You can't write anything on YouTube doesn't support photography. You can't upload photos to YouTube. Yes, you can make videos of photo slideshows, but that's not the same thing. So, Heartbeat is meant to fix the holes YouTube has created while letting YouTube be its thing, do its thing. And so we embed YouTube videos. That way, your YouTube channel also grows. If you grow on Heartbeat, so will you on YouTube because the video Views on Heartbeat count as views on YouTube, meaning you get closer to your monetization goals, you grow your audience, everything helps. So it's not just pick one platform, do both, and you'll grow on both because they feed off each other. And guys, the traffic you get from a view from Heartbeat to YouTube is worth far more to your YouTube SEO, then if someone just finds your video on YouTube, here's why. YouTube rewards new sessions. People coming to YouTube for the first time from a website far more than extending a session, meaning watching another video but not leaving YouTube. So if someone on Heartbeat watches a video that you've embedded on Heartbeat and then goes to YouTube, YouTube will reward you like 10 times more I don't know exactly how many times, I'm just giving an example. Like 10 times more SEO juice because you've created a new user for YouTube. And then YouTube will recommend your videos more often to, uh, to the viewers. Here's an example. I have one video that I got now over 100,000 views about Daenerys that I put on Heartbeat. How did I put it on Heartbeat? Well, I just made moments for the video using the Chrome extension. So I just go to h.ki and click Moments extension. This is the video. It's where Daenerys threw up candy. Now this video, if I now go to YouTube, you can see has over 150,000 views. The reason it got so many views, and it just got those in like 35, 40 days. The reason it got so many views is because of what I just described the power of bringing new sessions to YouTube as well as giving more watch time to these moments. I sent this a few to a few of my friends. They clicked these moments. This gave YouTube a signal that the video was getting more views, not just overall, but at these moments, increasing its relative audience retention and watch time. And that is the push it needed for YouTube to start suggesting that video in other places on YouTube.com, which gave it that over 100,000 view acceleration just because I put it on Heartbeat. That's it. There are going to be many more examples like this, I'm sure, but this is the one that I know about that I have the data to prove you get more views if you use Heartbeat. You get more views on YouTube to your videos if you put them on Heartbeat. Very simple concept. All right, Freedom Family. I'm getting a little uh, messy here. I'm going to end this video now, and I hope you enjoyed our Freedom Home, and I'll send you more as we complete them. We have a second project already close to finishing. And when that's done, I'll make a before and after uh, walkthrough just like I did in today's episode. Until the next episode, stay healthy. Get your regular sleep, get your regular exercise, eat your 
healthy food, not McDonald's or deep fried or other things that you know are bad for you. Stay away from that stuff and you will feel better. You know you will. Let me be your motivation. I even eat mostly a plant-based diet. I eat very little meat and fish. I try to stay away from all dairy, meaning no uh, products from um, animal milk, like no cheese, no milk, no, um, uh, what else is from dairy? Uh, eggs, uh, actually eggs are not from dairy, but it's not, eggs are not plant-based. So I stay away from eggs and I, Focus on the plants, right? The beans, the grains, the vegetables, the fruits. Uh, although I do drink kefir. Kefir, K-E-F-I-R, I do recommend. It's uh, based on cow milk, uh, but it's a process which they add the probiotic bacteria, which is great for your gut, your stomach, and it's a very thick drink. It's like a buttermilk or like, like, a, like a very thick smoothie. And it's, it's not sweet at all. It's, it's just, it feels a bit uh, uh, sour actually, but it's got a great texture and I do feel like it helps my stomach. So that's the only, uh, you know, dairy drink I intentionally consume because of its additional health benefits. All right, guys. Uh, oh, and cabbage, in case you are having any other stomach issues, eat raw cabbage. Raw cabbage has the highest nutrients that the stomach needs to settle itself. So if you have ulcers or stomach pains or any kind of issues with your stomach, just eat cabbage, raw cabbage, don't cook it. And if you didn't know that, you can Google it. But yeah, cabbage is the, the most, is the best ingredient, is the best food for, for a sensitive stomach. Until the next episode, I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! <laughs> Where we all help each other grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. That will never change. And I'm also the founder and CEO of Heartbeat, which is our brand new platform, not built on top of YouTube, but as I said, we embed YouTube videos. It's a new shiny platform that I encourage everyone to start using. And, uh, and I'm the father of four beautiful girls. Avi, Eve, Kira, and Daenerys. Our own Daenerys Stormborn, who will not be getting three dragon eggs for her wedding present. But she's only six and a half years old, so we don't have to worry about weddings anytime soon for our Daenerys. And of course, uh, my beautiful wife, Xiaoyu, who I love dearly. We'll be together forever. All right. Until the next episode, I am George. You've been watching. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.